I'm Jonathan Ayers with Network for Success, and today we're going to talk about what is a graphics card. A graphics card is a device, a mechanical device that is inserted into your computer to help you see graphics and video better, faster, more clearly. Now you have to ask yourself right off the bat, do I have to have one of these? In some form or another, your computer has to have some way to display graphics. Now in general, most computers will come with a small built-in chip into the main part of the computer that allows graphics to be displayed, but it's very weak and doesn't have any features. So consequently, if you look at a lot of photos or you do video, you will want to go out and buy yourself a good graphics card and add it into your computer. I have right in front of me here a good graphics card and it has a lot of memory, it has its own processing engine, and that means that it can take photos and render them very, very quickly in high quality. It can display pictures on any size of monitor, and it can provide video playback at the highest resolutions. So when you go out to buy a graphics card, what you want to look for is what are you going to use it for? So if you're going to be using the graphics card just for displaying photos, then you won't need a graphics card that is enhanced for playing games. Most video cards are focused on playing games. So you need to ask very carefully when you go to look for one, well, what's the best card that I can buy for displaying photos or doing video? And then that card will come with a certain amount of memory. Usually it's 256 or 512 megabytes of memory that will take the load off of the main computer and help display your photos or video faster and better and at a higher resolution. Now you'll notice on this graphic card that it has a number of features. I just want to point out a few of them to you. One thing is that it has its own fan and that's to keep it cool. And why does it keep it cool? Because doggone it, this thing gets hot when it's processing pictures quickly for you. And then on the end of the card we have a number of various connectors. And this is true of all video cards. All video cards are going to have one connector for connecting the monitor, the small blue one here. And then you could have various other ones like this S-Video Out for watching TV or playing video. And then another type of connector here which looks like an HDMI connector for your modern flat screen LCD panel TVs. So when you're out shopping for a video card, ask the questions. How much memory does it have? Does it have its own fan? Does it fit in the right slot in my computer? Make sure that you get the card configured for your computer. And is it priced right? Does it have the right out connections that you're going to need? And that's the easiest way to buy a good video card. 